Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Nicole. If you haven't taken class with me before, either at Planet Granite, Sunnyvale, or Santa Clara, this morning I will be leading you through a 45-minute vinyasa. As always, go at your own pace, modify, and if something feels uncomfortable in the body or you feel lightheaded, then always modify meeting in child's pose or a downward-facing dog. If you don't have your standard props, such as bolsters or blocks, you can use anything around the house, pillows, blankets, um, cans of soup to uh, allow for that support within the practice. Also, if you are pregnant or have a health condition um, that would keep you from retaining the breath during breathing exercises, breathe continuously, uh, and as always, take care of your body. Okay, All right, we'll get started. So allow for a comfortable seated position. Spine is going to be nice and tall, shoulders shrug up and down. A lot of times it's difficult to know that you're even rounding because we do a lot of typing, picking up babies or pets, things like that. So check in, engaging the belly. Think your hips are relaxed with that pubis symphysis, the weights off of the tailbone spine tall. Note if you're doing any clenching within the forehead, the face, the jaw, simply allow for that to soften with the breath, any amount. The gesture of mudra that we're going to do is to invoke a sense of deep trust within the self and allow for that confidence to rise. You're going to take the fingers and interlace the fingers like so. Your left pinky will be on top. The top two index fingers will touch, thumbs out. And then once more, I'm gonna soften my shoulders, my face, checking in with my breath. If your ujjayi breath technique is within your practice, it's that slight constriction at the back of the throat upon the inhalation. Belly expands outward. On the exhale, navel draws in and up towards the spine, lifting of the pelvic floor. Breath out smooth. Take each breath in, allowing for that softness in the belly. The exhale, navel drawing in and up. Allow for that inhalation to travel down. The exhale up and out just as smooth for a little longer, allowing for that calming of the insides to the outside world. Feel the breath going to all areas of the heart, front, back, side to side, noting the expansion of the rib cage, that intercostal space between the ribs, the deeper the breath. As you continue to breathe, note any sensations that surface, Checking in, what would it be like to invoke a sense of unconditional self-love and confidence? Visualize this version of self, fully confident. What are you wearing? How is your hair? How are you presenting yourself? Nice and tall. Really connect with this image of you, fully succeeding in your heart's desires, trusting in who you are. Allow for one more breath. And with the next breath, interlacing the fingers, palms travel behind the head. 
Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, lateral bend to your left side. Left elbow down towards the mat, right elbow towards the sky. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to your second side. Continue to breathe as you inhale to center. Exhale forward. One more round to inhale. Exhale, left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, second side. Inhale to center. Exhale, round forward. Come back to center. Switch which legs in front. Allow for those fingertips to come to the hip bones and then start to walk them up to a comfortable depth for you. Shoulders shrug up and away. With a breath, inhale, chin rises up. Exhale, chin to chest. Pausing there, breathe down your shoulders and to your wrists, your fingertips. And take the chin side to side. Easy breathing. One more breath. And take your head back to center, breath in, right ear down to your right shoulder, left shoulder draws away. Inhale back to center, exhale to your second side. Coming back to center, release those arms out in front of you, interlace fingers, start to circle your wrists out. Just check in, how is everything feeling this morning? Shake it out. From this point, release the legs out in front of you. Your left leg extends out, allow for your right hand to come to your right foot. Your left hand can be near to add support, keep the back tall, and start to floss out that right hip. One more breath. And take the leg across the body. Note if you would like to keep it here, foot flex towards my knee, or if you have space, take it to the crook of the elbow, take it side to side. One more breath. And slowly release, ankle down to that thigh. You can interlace the fingers between the toes. Just take your hand to the foot, warming up that ankle. And switch direction. And come to the second side. Opposite leg in, back tall, navel drawn in, flossing the hip out. And switch, taking it across, find that appropriate depth for you, shoulder softening side to side. And releasing ankle down to thigh, start to circle out the ankle one way and the opposite way. And slowly release. From this point, we're just gonna release our legs behind us, plant the palms, take it back, downward dog. In your down dog, root firmly through the palms, triceps wrap towards one another, head and neck are relaxing down towards the mat, bending the knee, paddling your dog out. One more breath. And release, slowly walk those hands back towards the feet. Take opposite elbows and hand rugged all side to side. Switch which elbow you have in front and then sway opposite side to side. And back to center, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. With the breath, inhale, arms rise up. Take your right wrist in hand. Exhale, bend to your left side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, switching second side. Come back to center, releasing fold forward, half sun salutation. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, palms to heart. Twice more. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, palms to heart. One more round. Inhale. Follow that breath. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhaling, palms to heart. Standing up nice and tall. Ears over shoulders. Shoulders over those hips. Noting if your femurs are jetting forward, take them back slightly. Tune into the breath. Picture this image of you fully confident. 
and within your inner trust. With the next breath, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, walk it out, downward facing dog. From your down dog, shift out to your high plank. Lowering down, knees, chest, chin, elbows in at the sides. Slither out, inhale, cobra. Exhale, take it back, down dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Next breath, shift out, high plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling up dog. Exhale, take it back, down dog, twice more. With the breath, shift out to your high plank. Lowering down, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling up, exhaling back. One more time, shift out. Lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling up, exhaling back, down dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Next breath, walk those legs closer together in the back of the mat and then let right leg rises. Pulse up and down on the left toes for three, two, one. You're gonna bend your right knee, open up the hips, square off the shoulders. Take the heel away from the glute and take it back. Twice more, up, down. One more time, up, down. Gently release, switch sides, pulsing up and down on the right toes for three, two, one. Bending of the left knee, open the hips up, square off the shoulders, taking the hip up and down. Heel away and down. One more time, away and down. Now releasing, bend both knees, bring the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to that high push-up position. Option to lower down, knees, chest, chin, or through your chaturanga. Inhaling up dog or cobra, differences thighs off the mat and up dog. Exhale, take it back, down dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Bend your knees, bring your feet to the top of the mat. Inhaling halfway, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, find ukatasan, your chair pose or fierce pose. Softening through the breath, ensure that the knees feel safe for three, two, one. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, shoulders release, breath in. Exhale, belly to thighs, maybe arms come overhead, maybe legs straighten for three, two, one. Bend the knees, arms come back up, rise up. Exhale, palms to heart. Twice more. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step or float back, high plank, lowering down. Inhaling up, exhaling back, down dog. Next breath, bend the knees, bring the feet to the top of the mat. Inhaling halfway, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, find ukatasan for three, two, one. Interlace fingers behind the back, breath in. Exhale, belly to thighs, maybe straightening. Three, two, one. Root to rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart. Final round, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, lowering down. Inhaling up. Exhale, back, down dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Bend the knees, bring the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhaling, palms to heart. Pausing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Connect with that inner strength. Rising up through your feet, through the legs, out through the crown of the head. That inner vibration growing strong with each breath. That confidence in the inner strength and trust rising. Next breath, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. Option to lower down on a count of three, two, one. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, take it back, down dog. 
with the next breath, right leg extends behind you. Step your right foot between the palms. Your left hand can stay down, or you can take it to anything to prop it up higher. Draw the right hip back, and then left, right arm rises. Breathe, three, two, one. Slowly release. Adjust the back foot so it's flat on the mat. Right hand then comes to the inside. Left hand can come to sacrum, opening up through your shoulder, or rise up. Breathe, three, two, one. Gently release both hands down to frame the front foot. Step the back foot up, straightening the front leg as the hips shift back, folding over the front leg, pyramid. And the forehead towards the shin is directional versus destination. Stay safe within the body of the breath. One more breath. Bend the front knee, plant the palms, option to step back, high plank or three-legged plank. Three-legged plank, right legs off the ground, lower down. Inhale up, exhale back, down dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Left leg extends, step the left foot forward, drawing the left hip back high on the right toes, and then Opening up through the shoulder, left arm rises. Breathe, three, two, one. Slowly release. Then left hand comes to the inside. Back foot plants down. Opening up. Top arm rises. Breathe for three, two, one. Slowly unravel, releasing, framing over the front foot. Hip shift back. Step the back foot up if that feels more comfortable for you in pyramid. Breathe. Shoulders softening. One more breath. And bending the front knee. Step back. High plank of your choice. Lowering down. Inhaling up. Exhaling back. Down dog. Checking in with your breath and intention. Another deep breath. And bend the knees, bring the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, find Ukatasan. Softening through the breath. Three, two, one. Interlace fingers behind the back, breath in. Exhale, belly to thigh, start to melt forward. Breathe, three, two, one, slowly releasing, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart. Take a moment connecting with your breath and intention. Feel the heartbeat, that inner strength. Next breath, inhale, arms rest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step, float back, high plank, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale back, down dog. With the next breath, right leg extends. We're going to take knee across the body towards that left elbow. Sweep it across to the right and back. One more time. Take it across, sweep it over, and back. Final time. Take it across, sweep it over, and back. Now draw the knee towards the forehead, plant the foot down, adjust the back foot to warrior two stunts, rise all the way up. Shoulders soften, face softens. One more breath. With the next breath, inhale, straighten arms, straighten legs. Exhale, release out. Ensure that the front knee hasn't gone past that ankle. Inhale, rise up. Exhale out. One more time, inhaling up, exhaling out. From this point, take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, note what thumbs on top, and then take a note of where those hips are. So rather than out to the edge of the mat, they're underneath me. I'm gonna inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, start to hinge forward, humble warrior. Strengthening through my inner thighs as my heels magnetize towards my back arch. 
root through the feet, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhaling up, exhaling down. If there's space, you can allow for that right shoulder to hook, I don't know if you can see that, right shoulder to hook around the front knee, and then opening up through the left shoulder. Breathe for three, two, one. Slowly release the arm. Maybe the right hand is to the outside or to the inside, straighten the front leg. Breathe, three, two, one. Rebend, slowly release the palm, step back, high plank, lowering down. Inhaling up, exhaling back, down dog. Allow for a couple of breaths. You're gonna take it to that second side. When you're ready, left leg extends behind you. And then take that left knee across towards the right elbow. Then it comes across the mat and back. Two more rounds, taking it across, out to the edge and back. Final time, across, out to the edge and back. Now drawing the knee towards the forehead, plant the foot down, adjust the back foot, inhale, rise up, warrior two. Connect with the breath. Where is this knee originally placed? Over the ankle, foot towards the front of the room. With the breath, inhale, straighten. Exhale up. Inhale, straightening. Exhale, taking it back. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hands behind the back, opposite thumb on top as you breathe in, slight back bend. Exhale, hinging, humble warrior. Strength through the inner thighs. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling forward. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale forward. This time, allowing for that left shoulder to hook to the front of the knee, opening up. Breathe for three, two, one. Slowly releasing the arms. Maybe the hips shift back, straightening through the front leg. Breathe for three, two, one, a rebend, slowly release those hands, step back, lowering down, inhaling up, exhaling back, down dog. Allow for three breaths in your down dog, checking in, resetting. And with the next breath, bend the knees, bring the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway, exhale, fold. With the next breath, take the arms, Ukatasan. From this point, and if space allows, and the knees are all right, we're gonna start to lower down. Through our Ukatasan, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, lower down. Think of that energy rising up through the feet. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, down. Twice more, inhale, up. Exhaling, down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Breathe for three, two, one. Root to rise all the way up, exhaling palms to heart. Check in with that breath, that intention. How does that energy feel rising up through the legs, out through the crown of the head? That self-confidence. With the next breath, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. Lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back, down dog. Take a breath in. Breath out. Next breath, right leg extends behind you. Step the right foot forward. Allow for the left hand to stay down. Right hand arises, breathe for three, two, one. Slowly release, adjust the back foot so it's flat on the mat. Right hand to the inside, and then allow for the left arm to rise. Option to take a half bind, perhaps you take a full bind. Allow for the crown of the head to lengthen across the room from you. 
breathe for three, two, one. Option to stay or start to straighten the front leg back, opening through the chest. If that feels uncomfortable for you, you can release half of the bind or all of the bind. Breathe three, two, one. Slowly rebend the front knee. Option from this point, we can gaze forward. And if you have your block handy, you might want it. We're gonna shift forward, back leg rises. We're moving to half moon pose. You can stay there, or if you would like that added support, my block will be directly underneath my palm, underneath my shoulder, back leg can rise. Back foot flex towards your knee. Maybe take hold of the foot, softening, breathe for three, two, one, slowly releasing, holding over the front leg. Rebound the front knee, plant the palms, step back, high plank, lower down. Inhaling up, exhaling back, down dog. Allow for two breaths within your down dog, resetting, connecting. Another breath. With the next breath, left leg extends behind you, step the left foot forward. Right hand stays down, left hand rises, breathe for three, two, one. Slowly releasing, adjust the back foot. Inhale, rising up, second side. Breathe. Maybe you take a half bind, maybe you take a full bind. Once more, check in, how does this feel for you? Shoulders softening. Notice if there's tension within the jaw. Option to straighten the front leg back. Continue to breathe for four, three, two, one. Option to rebound the front knee, releasing the arms. You can stay in this point, especially if you're getting a nice release down the lateral aspect of that hip, or if you would like shifting forward. Another option, if you have a wall by you, you can just take a modified pose, taking hold anywhere. So this is about creating support for your body within the space of a safe practice. Allow for another breath. And slowly release. You're gonna fold over that front leg. Bend the front knee, plant the palms, take it back. Take it through your flow or downward dog. And from down dog, lowering the knees down, chest and chin. Release all the way down to the belly. Release those legs out in front of you. From this point, we're going to take our palm underneath the shoulders. Shoulders shrug up and away. Root through the pubic bone. Inhale, rise up with the chest. See how that feels. My head isn't cranking. My chin's not cranking up towards the sky, nor is my head all the way down. Just nice and neutral. And slowly release. Release the arms, take those knees side to side. Come back to center. We're gonna press through the palms and inhale, rise up, chest. Maybe you can rise up a bit more. Release down. Pausing, check in with the back. Maybe the arms come by the sides. Now lift up with the legs. Legs can be close together or further apart. See what feels better for your back. Continue to breathe. One more breath. And release. Gazing in one direction, releasing your legs. Come back to center. From this point, we're going to inhale, rise up. Chest and legs. Shoulders softening. If there's space, interlace the fingers behind the back and start to rise up to your locust pose. Connect with your breath. The bigger your inhalation and exhalation, you'll have buoyancy to your shape, a slight rocking. Continue to breathe for four, three, two, one, slowly releasing, take those legs side to side. Release legs behind you, plant the palms, 
shift it back, child's pose. Just for a moment, fingers coming high into the fingertips, sway side to side, if that feels nice, easy movement. And slowly start to come all the way up. We're gonna take our legs out in front of us. Toes on the mat, backs long. Find a spot that feels good for you. There are plenty of modifications at this point. So again, as we started out, you want to ensure the back is straight, the belly supported, legs can lift up. If there's any tenderness within the abdominal muscles, ease back, or if you just had a baby or are pregnant, maybe holding even gently adding some uh, support to the sides, okay? Arms and legs come up if that feels all right. If not, you can keep the toes down, maybe the hands step, stay down. With more breath and space, we're gonna inhale. Exhale, take it out, any amount. Inhale, back up. Exhale out. The toe taps too are also an option. So inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Well, for a few more breaths, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, exhale twice more. Inhale, exhale. Final time, inhale, exhale. Come back to center, plant those feet down, palms onto the shins. Just give yourself a hug or you can Take opposite elbows and hands. Slowly release, come back up. Before you proceed, check in, how is everything going? You're developing that inner trust. All right, if there's space, you can take the toes to the side, tap back to center, take it to the second side and up. If you feel good, inhale, exhale, legs out to your left, arms to your right. Inhale, center, exhale, second side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, final time, inhale, exhale. Come back to center, hug those knees in, and then take the knees out to the side. Start to circle through your spine. Think of the energy rising up from the base of the spine, out through the crown of the head. And switch direction. And come back to center. All right, from this point, so check in, how did that feel? In the beginning, we started off with getting space within the legs. So we're gonna revisit this. Option to keep your left leg extended out, or you can take your heel towards your pubic bone. You're gonna take your left hand by you, backs tall. Start to take the leg back, flossing the hip. If there's space, taking the leg across. So these are points where you can stay, especially if it feels good. If you have additional space, you can allow for your right arm to come underneath that leg, right leg. So I'm hiking it up on my shoulder, like, a, I don't know, a stack of potatoes. All right, from this point, I'm really rooting through my fingers on the bottom, my palms uh, wide. Option, back toe, you can link your index finger around your big toe, your left index finger around your right big toe. Maybe you start to explore, opening up the leg. Continue to breathe. And then if there's any crackling or if it feels like uh, maybe it's not today, no problem, just come to a spot that feels good. One more breath, and slowly release. Second side, so you know where we're going. And also, if you have a side that is compromised, avoid this completely. So taking the leg back and forth, and taking it across, how's this feeling? And slowly, maybe you stay there where you take the arm out, palms pressing down, hiking that leg up, index finger to big toe. What is the space like for the day? Continue to breathe, softening in your shape. Uh, for a few more breaths.
and slowly release, allow for both legs to come out in front of you, adjust the sits bones, inhale, rise up long with the arms and sitting up tall out of my hips, releasing those palms beside me, palms press in, shoulders release. One more deep breath. And arms extend up, inhale, exhale, start leading forward with the chest. When do I start to feel it with my hamstrings, my back props? Start to take the palms down, shoulders soften. Developing that inner trust, inner awareness. One more breath. And slowly start to come back up. From this point, lower down onto the back. If you have space within the body, you're going to take those heels till you can fill them with its fingertips. You might need to adjust the stance. Knees are in line with the hips. We're going to press through the palms, rise up, bridge pose. I'm pressing the back of my head into the mat, lengthening my chin away from my neck. And if there's space, interlacing my fingers, maybe come to the tiptoes. Continue to breathe. Two more breaths. And slowly release those legs when you're ready. Release the arms. Hug it in, windshield side to side. You can take happy baby or index fingers to big toes, straightening the legs. Maybe the legs come out in a V shape. Find a spot that works for you. And then when that's complete, slowly releasing out for Shavasan. If you have a blanket, you can take the blanket over the hips. Nice, comfortable position. Starting to soften out through the palms. Notice if there's any gripping. Start to release the fingertips out. Deepening the breath, spine a bit taller. If you still feel tightness within, allow for a squeezing of the palms through the belly, drawing it towards the spine, through the toes, the sides, and release. Knowing, tuning into the fact that relaxation, even minimal, is available. Keep connecting with your breath and intention to invoke that sense of ease of being, deep trust, compassion, and confidence. Take your mind's eye back to a spot of ease. And you on a beach, in a forest, in the mountain, connecting with this image of nature that brings serenity to the mind. Love into the heart. With each breath, inviting that softness deeper within the tissues. Feeling a lightness within body as tension melts down to the earth.
slowly start to invite awareness back into the body, noting how it felt to pause, connecting with your being, allowing for that sensation to enter through the fingers and the toes. In your time, arms rise overhead, deep stretch throughout the body. Allowing for this to sink deeper within your tissues. In your own time, draw the knees in, roll to either side, palm in front of face, coming back to a comfortable seated position. Allow for the spine to be tall once more, feeling that inner confidence rise up from the base, out through the crown of the head. The breath, that compassion, traveling all around the heart. Exhale fully. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. The next breath, inhale to your inner wisdom. Exhale to inner clarity. Inhale to inner presence. Exhaling to your inner peace. Inhaling to your inner truth. Exhaling to equanimity. Next breath, palms at prayer, bowing in, acknowledging your practice and dedication. Thank you so much for being a part of the community and for showing up. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely day um, whenever you happen to be practicing this. And as always, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Um, and yeah, look forward to seeing you guys soon.